All right, so I'm looking over the um, the objective, the objectives, or rather the the, um, the topics that were attempted not yet learned from objective 1.2, which was last week. I haven't seen you guys since last week, so I'm just looking over this and saying, all right, what what might we need to talk about today? So dilution, I did a video on last week. 22%, um, so about one fifth of the students who attempted it did not successfully get that. So go back and find that video in my playlist. I did a video on that last week. I did a video on this last week also, writing the net equation for a sequence of reactions. All right, so again, about a fifth uh, of the students who attempted that did not learn it. So go back and look for that video and then bring that up in class. This is one I have not done a video on yet. So using molarity to find solute mass and solution volume. So I already clicked on it. And I prepare, I'm going to do a video on that right now. I already clicked on it. I'm going to do, uh, and I may prepare my whiteboard. So here it is. Using molarity to find solute mass and solution volume. Calculate the volume in milliliters. Calculate the volume in milliliters of a 1.2 aluminum chloride solution. Aluminum chloride concentration 1.2 moles per liter that contains 150 grams of aluminum chloride. Okay, so mass then is equal to 150. Looks like three sig figs. That's what we're being told there. Grams, right? All right, so what I got to do now is work my way backwards. Be sure you know. So I'm essentially going to have to find the, the, the volume uh, that has this much mass in it. That's what we see what's going on. So what I'm going to do is I'm going to work my way backwards. I'm going to say, well, I don't have mills anywhere over here, but I've got liters, okay? So I'm going to go mills per liter, right? So I, the mills are going to be the numerator when I'm done, and there, there they are. All right, and I come here and say, well, I've got to introduce liters into the equation somehow, and aha, it looks like it's going to go liters per mole, right? Um, liters per mole. Well, I don't have moles anywhere over here. I've got liters per mole, but I don't have moles, but I do have grams. So I'm going to say moles per gram, right? And aha, there's my grams. Okay, can you see how everything here crosses out except my mills? Everything crosses out except that. I'll do this, I'm going to do the solution again down here forwards. I'm sort of did it backwards here, working my way back from the answer. All right, so um, this is, um, let's see, where are we? Yeah, let's go here. Mills per liter. How many mills per liter? There's a thousand mills per one liter, right? And how many liters per mole? Well, I don't know that, but I do know it's 1.2 moles per liter. 1.2 moles per one liter, right? And how many grams per mole? Aha, that I got to look up. Well, you can do that automatically with your um, with your um, um, Alex calculator, but I'm going to come here and say, what is, no, I'm not going to calculate it out, periodic table. I should calculate this with you, right? I was tempted just to Google it, um, but I'm not going to do that. Let's come here. Okay, can't really see this very well. Let's come here. Looks like aluminum is 26.982. So it's three times chlorine, which is what? 35.45, let's get rid of that now. Okay, this is the formula way it is. I'm going to do this in my calculator right now. You should pause the video and do it yourself. Do it with your calculator and so that you can practice uh, something that might be easy, right? Three. Okay. And I got 133.3. Three, three, two. Okay, you know what I'm gonna do? I'm gonna go Google that real quickly. Wait, where am I here? Where 
use the molar mass of AlCO3. 133. I got 3, 3, 133.332, 34, about the same. I'm going to get rid of that, come back here, and I'm going to say this is, where am I? 133.332 grams per one mole. And it looks like my grams is going to be 150, okay? So now I'm going to go through and multiply 150 times 1,000 and divide by these two numbers, and that'll be my answer. I'm going to do that right now on my calculator. You should do the same thing. Um, times 150 times 1,000 divided by 1.2, okay? And I got 937. Point five oh nine oh I don't know three eight right okay now this is to three this is two sig figs this is three sig figs right and this these are all more so it looks like this is gonna be two sig figs so this needs to be reported as nine hundred and forty mils now before I answer that and plug it in my in my computer I'm gonna calculate it again manually it's one fifty times one thousand divided by 133 divided by 1.2. Whoa, I was off by 10. Uh-oh, I'm gonna do it again. 150 times 1,000 divided by 133 divided by 1.2. Oh no, okay. It was right, that was one, it's 940. So, by the way, when I'm checking it, I just said divided by 130. You see, I just dropped a bunch of digits here. I just wanted to see if it was close. So, indeed, it is. Gosh, even dropping those digits, I still round to 940. All right, so this is my answer. I calculated it a couple different times, got the same answer. I calculated it like three times, got the same answer twice. All right, now, I say, and so that's, that's what I'm going to say it is. Now, real quickly, I'm going to say, suppose that you don't like working from your answer. So you saw what I did. I start out here saying, I don't know where to go. I'm going to start out with my mills. Suppose you don't like that. A lot of students don't. Um, then what you want to do, what you're going to need to do is you're going to need to convert this amount into a mills. That's it. So you start out with grams, right? And you know that this is in moles per liter. You know that. And so you're used to converting from grams to moles. That's a very super common uh, routine in Chem 1, is to go from grams to moles and moles to grams. So immediately when you see grams here, you might write down, all right, I don't know for sure, I don't know, it's just an old habit of mine to write formula weight down. So you calculate the formula weight, and you find out it's 133.3, oh, I don't know, let's say 33, okay? Grams per mole. Those of you who've had me in class before know that I, I oftentimes automatically just calculate. If I'm given mass, I just go ahead and calculate moles right away because it's so common, right? So just as a force of habit, I get 150, I divide by 133.33, and I find the number of moles. I'm going to do that on my calculator right now. 150 divided by 133.33 is equal to 1.125. So I've got 1.125. Uh, moles of this stuff, right? So I've actually already used that. I now have 1.125 moles, 1.125 moles of this stuff. And so I say, well, I, I need an, a, a volume in the end, right? I'm going to volume. So I'm going to go ahead and do moles per liter. So I'm going to be dividing that by 1.2 moles per liter. And then I can see how many liters I've got. Okay, now this is a very short jumping off point. It's going to be liters per mil. So I'm going to multiply this by 1,000 mils per liter. And you're going to end up with exactly the same number. So I just solved that sort of two different ways. It turns out, of course, the two ways are equivalent. And uh, what your, your goal, of course, is to find uh, a way that you like, a way that goes quick for you. Alex, of course, is going to help you do that. Come to me if you want, if you want uh, more individual, uh, personal, I should say, practice. All right, best wishes.